well, what I got the house for? I'm still paying. I was like, I'm still paying rent on it, and I can't go out there and party on New Year's Eve. Everybody else partying. Hmm. I want to party. Like, I just want to sit up in the house with you. <laughs> like, no. God. <laughs> so I just sat in my room. I had a flask, and I was, like, watching the ball drop. I'm like, you got clothes and stuff in here. My bed ain't even ready. <laughs> I was like, you ain't even send me no care package. How you going to send me off to school without no care package? What would be in the care package? <laughs> Something to show me that you care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very, uh, very literal there with the care packages. How am I going to know you care if you don't give me a care package? Yeah. It's more like a don't care package. Everything's so transactional. <laughs> It's so but, transactional. Yeah, so I was down there sinning. Like, I was like, it's Florida. Like, who cares? Like, Well, yeah, you got to have a good time. Yeah, it's no. just I was always working. I never, I never went on spring break. That Walmart down there was it was, Walmart. It was because it was like ridiculous. Like I've never seen a Walmart just like ran through. You guys think Steel Yard, wa- Steel Yard Walmart is bad? Like this Walmart, people are. It was like Trump throwing. I don't uh, think Steel Yard Walmart's bad. I think it's fine. People were like throwing stuff down the aisles. It was, just think, a bunch of college kids. Every, the beers and alcohol oh, yeah. all gone. Yeah. The paper towels are all gone. Everything's just gone, ran through. The only thing that's there is, like, the clothes. Like, because no one's buying clothes from Walmart. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, New Orleans is the number one pick this year. So if you – like, my older kids go to Michigan State, and for whatever reason, their spring break is so goddamn early. It's like the last week of this month – is their spring break. And so I know my daughter's going to Florida. I don't know what my son's doing. But it's just, it terrifies me every time. I cheered through college, and spring break was always the week of the um, MAC tournament. So yeah. we would come to Cleveland every year for spring break. Woo! And hey, yeah, it's home. 33 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it was trash. <laughs> From Toledo, trash. you'd come to Cleveland. Yeah. Yep. And oh, if we al- we almost never advanced. Yeah. So we would have like our first game would be on like that Tuesday. Yeah. So we couldn't go anywhere for two days before. She's like, know? why didn't so, I go to the University of Miami? Yeah. So it was always Mac tournament in Cleveland every single spring break. That sucks. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Alan, it's Eric calling from Penn Hills, Pennsylvania. Listening to the podcast, and you were talking about the eclipse. Now, you were concerned about traffic. Remember, this is a gigantic line across the continent. Any of the real eclipse nerds are going to be going to places sunnier than Ohio anyway. And anyone in Ohio is not going to be at one point. It's not like whenever the time I went over to Star Lake and Burgettown and caught Steely Dan and was stuck on the parkway for hours. Yeah, right. I, I'm trying to get to the Steely Dan show. They're going to be done by the time I get there. I already missed Steve Winwood. What the hell's going to happen? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody else was trying to explain the eclipse thing to me. I was like, I can't, I just can't believe they're going to have a million people in the area because of this goddamn eclipse. When there's a, a path that people could go to any point in that curve and go, I don't know. What do I know? It's all it, it's all happening on Guardians opening day and they're pushing the game back and we don't know where we're going to be. And I, ha- I have no interest at all in devoting any amount of my brain power to figuring out this eclipse nonsense. You guys should really throw them for a loop and do a live broadcast from New York City that day. <laughs> for Guardians opening day. <laughs> you guys come out here and visit We've me. completely escaped the path of totality. Yeah, well, that's something to consider. You got room for us in that room? I mean, I'd need a full studio. I can't... Uh... Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's two microphones we could share. Two microphones, all right. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, I'm listening to the show from the Ace and talking about death penalty. I think a great thing for our economy is to make these death penalties a pay-per-view event. People can tune in and watch these murderers or rapists or whatever be killed by firing squad or whatever they're doing. Uh, you can either choose to buy in or you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. So I think that'd be a great way to uh, get some extra money in our economy. Death, uh, what is it? Death race, Running Man. This is it's an old Carlin yeah. bit from thirty years ago. I mean, they put it on pay per view, and people, yeah, it's not a bad idea. That's why it keeps popping back up. Uh, the only issue I would see is that you're effectively cutting out a huge portion of of the population as far as revenue goes, 
because um, you should make it pay that so you don't have to see it. None of the uh, uh, people in the pro-life community would want to see someone murdered. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't even say it with a straight face. No, of course they'd be the first people to pay to watch the pro-lifers. But yeah, I mean, uh, why not? Well, it's because people pretend that they still have a problem with public executions. Eh, some people do, in fairness, okay? Some people probably do. But I think morbid curiosity weighs on people way more than they'd like to cop to. I was reading about this dude that killed a coyote with his bare hands. That is an amazing story. Was it Jason Kelsey? It was not. I feel like that's the next thing this guy's going to do. A rabid coyote attacked a Rhode Island hiker on Friday. Now, rabies is nothing you want to dick around with because if it doesn't get treated, rabies has a 100% kill rate. So you want to make sure you get your ass to a hospital toot sweet. Bit you- him on the leg, and then he choked it to death. Damn. I love that. Now, I do, you know, we're familiar with the phrase, like, he, he killed it with his bare hands. Is that more impactful than if he had gloved hands? Yes. Okay. He was hiking in the woods. I mean, about skin to skin is Skin hardcore. to fur. Well, yeah. Oh, you're talking about, like, a person. Or yeah, but know. I mean, like, feeling that, like, there's nothing between you and the death you're causing. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're feeling their pulse slow down mm-hmm. under your thumbs. He was hiking in the woods about 10 miles from Providence, and the coyote bit him in the leg. I mean, a coyote is not, it's about the same size as, like, a dog, right? Yeah. Like a mid-sized dog kind of. He pinned the coyote to the ground and choked it to death. They think it's the same coyote that attacked another man in the area while he was walking his dog. The animal later tested positive for rabies, and so they took care of this dude as quickly as they possibly could. They said the coyote attacks on humans are rare. I imagine it's only doing that because it's rabid. Right. But think about that. Because so much could go wrong. This thing bites you, and your your instinct might be to run away. You get the hell out of here. This guy goes, no. Experienced hiker. He knows what he's got to do. Because you're supposed to... Bring the animal. I thought. No, that's like if it's like a snake or a spider. No, I thought so it was. Like, I thought it was. It. No, it's no, not a I thought it, No, I thought if if it's rabid though. No, how would you know it's rabid? Well, that's so they can identify that it is rabid. Yeah, that's so probably. If a cougar bites you. You're supposed to catch the cougar and bring it in with you, just in case it's rabid. If I, you I can, don't think, I don't if, think if no. you can kill it, no, you have to. It has to be dead. That to, rule yeah. is for so they can identify for like things with venom, so they can know what kind of anti venom to give you. I mean, can cougars get rabies? Probably. Why couldn't they? I don't I know. I, 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 can. I don't. If humans can get it, why couldn't a cougar? Well, because we're man. I, I don't know that bear. every animal can get rabies. I, you might be right. I don't know. But but this guy was like 60 years old. Not some young buck jogging through the woods, you know? Good for him. It is only the third reported rabid coyote in Rhode Island in 30 years. Yeah, you're supposed to... You're not supposed to catch every animal that bites you. <laughs> no, but if an animal bites you and you can catch it, it should be euthanized and tested for rabies to know if it has rabies so that you can get the treatment that you need. I don't think that that's... And by the way, don't is. don't tell me how many animals... I have caught every animal that has bitten me. I've chased it down. I Sure, I've gotten bit a lot. I have delicious legs. You just look at them, you can tell. And I have caught, I have tracked and caught every single animal that's ever bitten me. And sometimes you're right. It is a spider. Those are harder to find. Much harder to catch. After the fact in the woods. Other times, it's a larger animal. I was bit on the heel by a buffalo one time. You were not. I stabbed it to death. Nope. And then I found out that it wasn't a rabbit. It was just curious. Buffaloes eat grass. Yeah, Mary, hey. I was wearing my grass socks that day. Okay. Thank you very much. Sorry. And what they lack in comfort, they more than make up for in style. 
The joke's on him, though. They were AstroTurf socks, not even real grass. Take that, you dummy. Buffalo, that's why I stabbed you to death. He'll never bother anyone's heels again. Ooh, look at the time. I've got to take a break. If you want to send a text, 35192. Ought to get the last word into it that way. Cavs, Bulls tonight here on MMS and on the iHeartRadio app. Uh, that game.